not bad, is it? It does everything. It's not bad. I, anyway. It's not often that I get excited about doing a gear review because, I mean, I do a lot of gear You do reviews. a lot of gear reviews. And I saw this Iridium last yeah. night for the first time on my iPhone when I was like that. <laughs> you know, only lie in bed, gaze at phone. Dropped it on my face a few times. And um, I saw this and I, I saw a review by a, a competitor retailer. Um, and they did a really good job, to be honest. It was uh, another shop. Right. But it's okay. We're still friends. Um, and I thought, I've got to try this thing called the Iridium. I wonder if yep. Andertons will have one. And then I was looking at something called the Quilter. And I mentioned it to Lee. And he said, oh, yeah, I think you use that with this thing called the Iridium. And pulled it out. And I'm like, yeah, oh, I know. he's got it already. So it's exciting. It is exciting. And let's tell you about it. So Iridium, just to be clear, you do not take this when you have a bad case of the squits. This is absolutely a pedal for guitar players to use if they don't want to have to have an amplifier. You're gonna to have to explain that joke to people that don't know what Imodium is. <laughs> if you don't, look it up. Um, so the Iridium is new from Strymon. It is an amp and cabinet emulator in a pedal. So what you're hearing here is us plugged into a, an overdrive pedal. We've chosen the Strymon Sunset just to keep it all Strymon, but could be any overdrive pedal if you want it to be, into the Iridium, straight into our interface. Uh, I guess, imagine this was going into a PA or into a desk or whatever. And you're hearing um, the reverb is coming a little bit from the room control in here and a little bit just from a reverb plugin that's in Logic. And, every, and everything, all the drive sounds, the guitar amp yeah. sounds, everything, the speaker emulation, everything is coming from the Iridium. I love the room control. Yes. I know that Strymon are well known for delays and reverbs, but my God, this is so cool. Could we turn off the reverb that we've got on this from the desk? Sure. And turn off the room, and then could you gradually increase the room? So super dry, halfway up. All the way. Iridium, if you're just wondering, uh, Pete want me to tell you it, it is the 76th element or something like that, 77th element, and of course is symbolized by IR, or impulse response. Yeah. Hey. Anyway, look, so there are three amp modes in here, round, chime, and punch, and if my notes serve me well, the round is based on a Fender Deluxe Reverb, of course it is. The chime, guess what, is based on an AC30, the brilliant channel of an AC30, and the punch, is based on a Plexi, a Marshall Plexi Super Imagine League. That. Now, then there are three cabinet options, uh, and Strymon have worked with some famous cabinet IR people, uh, Own Hammer, Celestian, and Val, Val Halal. So, now, straight out the box, you've got uh, three cabinet modes for each amp, so that on the, uh, the round mode, you've got a Deluxe Reverb 1x12, you've got a Blues Junior 1x12, and you've got a Vibralex 2x12. That's cool. When you're into the AC30 mode, you've got um, an AC3212, you've got a 112 Al Nico, and you've got a 412, a Mesa 412, no less. And then when you're in the, the punch amp, you've got a, um, a GNR 412, uh, a 212 Vintage 30 by Celestian, and a Marshall 8x12. Oh, Pete Townsend. There's rocks. no 4x12? Um, yeah, the first one was a 4x12. Oh, yeah. However, of course, the cabinet side of this is designed so that you can load your own IRs if you want. And when Pete and I were messing around with the editor uh, earlier, it appears if you want to use this in stereo, you can even have a different speaker on the left and a different speaker on the right, that's I awesome. think. Um, so that's enough of that. Let's just hear them. So, Rob, let's start with the round mode and just keep it relatively clean so people can hear what that sounds like. Can we have some reverb back, please, Pete? Thank you. Here we go, Four, three different cabinet modes on the, the Fendery sound. Mm -hmm. 
If you like the sound of a driven fender, you can of course drive it and get it sound like this. If you like the sound of a fender with a distortion pedal with it, you can, I think I've got this on the... That's the Chief Creamery one. Yeah, let's give this a... AC30, here we go. It's that's got good. a beautiful sound. Yeah, that's very that's very good. Different cab. Wow. Then the Marshall, here we go, the punch mode. And let's just gain it up a little bit so you can kind of hear. It's really, you it feels know, this is very the closest, natural, doesn't it? closest I've seen you enjoying what really is like a piece of software. Well, it's because it, I don't like that. I like things, you know, I'm, I'm, as you know, I'm like a fan of that original pod just because yeah. that was all you ever had to do was just twiddle, twiddle the knobs on it. And it, yeah. the whole, I, I don't have necessarily anything against digital. It's the interface. It's the way it's presented to me to use that's I'm the same. my problem. I'm the same. I just want to. I just want it to feel like this. You know, I recently went to Dorje started rehearsing again to to prepare for an album recording, which is really exciting. And I had to carry, you know, guitar, amp, pedal board. You had to carry it. your own yeah, stuff. You didn't have to make your own coffee or anything, did you? Mm, no, it was made. It was made <laughs> oh for me. Oh my god! Um, but you know. <laughs> you got to park a distance away. I had to park about a twenty-minute walk away, ca carrying a guitar, an amp, and a pedal board for twenty minutes. That's you a know, long way. It's hard. It's, you know, it's difficult when you're forty-four. Yeah. And, you know, you got you know, kids up. You know, six a.m. and everything. So the the idea that I could have a guitar and one pedal board with that, and then yeah. plug that into a PA, fills me with excitement. Well, I took a quick trip through the uh, Iridium manual and the standout features uh, appear to be that on its own you've got two basic sounds that you can recall. Obviously you can set the dials up to be whatever you want it to be when you turn it on and off but then you can have another setting, you can have any other combination of amp cab uh, settings whatever that you can store as a favourite. So two sounds basically from there. However, get this, if you want to use this via MIDI and it's got one of these crazy new fandangled MIDI via a jack socket things that I don't really understand, um, but a lot of uh, MIDI controllers nowadays have that, 300 different combinations of amp and cab wow. if you want. 
as we mentioned before, you can of course load in your own IRs via RigMat, the software that comes with this. Uh, it's stereo in as long as you use a stereo cable to go in and then or mono in as we're using it here stereo out or mono output uh, there is an expression pedal output that again can be assigned to uh, control any of the knobs that are on here uh, and there are also even modes of operation if you want this to work as just the amp modeler but not the cabinet cabinet modeler it can right. do that and vice versa if you just want this to be the cab so you could modeler. run that into a power thing and then into yeah, a 4 by 12 exactly um so it's pretty full featured there's headphone socket on it on the front here, which to be honest with you, if you use with the room, the room does enough reverb for me yeah. to, for it to kind of work just as a completely standalone cool thing to just uh, play guitar through headphones. Um, Man, when is Strymon just going to step up and go, here, here is, <laughs> well no, what I mean is when are they going to bring out a, a powered floor everything? So you plug in a cable to a 412 and then that's everything on the floor that you've ever that needed. That is essentially what that new Google um, a computer thing has been made for. What's it called? The Google, the thing that's... The ten, electron entanglement Yeah, what, what was uh, that? Pa paradigm. Now that's an unbreakable deep string. Thought. Uh, anyway, know. whatever that new Google uh, processing chip they've just invented, that's what Strymon but will invent next. If they next. could just add some kind of power to this, to this, and then add, and add uh, oh. Big Sky, and put the three pedals in one big pedal, and then sell it to me, I would buy it. Yeah, I mean... and. I bet it's coming. Uh, I don't know it's coming, by the way. Um, can I have a little, a little noodle you? around? Yes. Yes. No, I don't know. I honestly, Strymon. I you know, know that's I, exactly the kind of thing. I didn't know did about know the say. iridium. I didn't know about the iridium until about two days ago. They, they, they do keep um, things under, close to their chest. You know, under their something. Under wraps. <laughs> Okay, minor, minor criticism, although it doesn't really affect this. I did notice it, um, it drops out and loads the next sound for a split second. So let's just see what happens if you go from, f like, well, let's give it make chance, sure it doesn't. <laughs> I just want it like, so let's just, I'll just choose a sound. I'll get a sound that I like. We'll go high, slightly high gain. Whatever, it doesn't really matter. So I press and hold the favorite button. Uh, it flashes just to tell me that my favorite's in. So let's see what happens as we go from, Let's just go cleaner again. Do you want me to press You'll that have button? To. Yeah, so, so here we go. Yeah, it ducks. It does do a little duck, yeah, doesn't yeah. it? I'm not... Uh, okay, so there you are, Strymon. You haven't quite uh, well, won but the if you've world got, yet. Um, a reverb pedal that has trails, you, you, would, might, you might mask you that, that, yeah. I suppose in fairness, if you're engaging the favorite uh, as a different amp model for a different song, it doesn't matter. And then you just use your distortion pedal to work as a boost over the top of yeah. it. Yeah. Interesting. Um, Try a different amp. Old fashioned Fendery. Uh, no. What did Pete say? What do you want, I think? What, Pete? 20p in the box. 20p in the box. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Again, this isn't a criticism of the product at all. It's, it's almost like, it, I find it a bit disconcerting. When you've got the sound of a really loud gunned amplifier, but it's not really loud or gunned. But we can it's go sort of free. Really. No, 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 it just sort of, it, it always, I, I, I find the playing slightly disconcerting. Uh It's a 
good sound though. I can already hear people. I can already hear people asking for this versus Kemper. Well, I mean, the good news for you guys this is about a thousand pounds cheaper than a Kemper, mm. uh, albeit appreciate it's a different thing with a lot less features in it but yeah these are sub 400 pounds um It's really very, good. very convincing. It's unbelievably small. Um, what can I say? Well, I just wish it, it was powered. It's just that they've done it again, haven't they? Oh, I mean, there are plenty of, you know, that little Seymour Duncan do the little powered thing. Definitely, definitely, if you wanted this as a, a pedal on a board that you could power a cab with, that's easy enough to do. Well, how much is it? 3 99 <laughs> You know, it's good. Anyway. Give me that Marshall sound, Lee. I will. <laughs> it was great when it was. Great, man. Yeah, it's my favourite new thing. My it's very, new very thing good. Is this. Very, very good. Very professional. We like the Strymon guys. Bound to be uh, super, super reliable. Uh, what can I say? Well, how much would uh, that? A sunset and a big sky cost on a on a board, right? Ballpark, a thousand pounds. Right, a thousand pounds. Mm. And how much is uh, a Kemper floor unit? Fifteen hundred. I mean, there's a ton more in the Kemper. It's just like, but I I do I I'm I know where you're going with that. I mean, it's like it's super small. It's incredibly simple to use. Again, even a Kemper, as simple as the Kemper are, relatively simple as a Kemper is. You don't ever get the feeling on a Kemper you can just go in and just dial up a sound no. as easily as you can it's on that. It's the physicality that you yeah. and I like. You can turn yeah. a knob and it makes a thing. You can obviously plug it into a PC and change a thousand perimeters as Lee's already Perimeters? So I would change perimeters uh, par mainly. Par yeah. Parameters. Mm. And parameters. Change perimeters and parameters. Look, I'm married to a multi <laughs> And Paralympians. Just change anything. Change everything <laughs> and anything. Parachutes, parameters, perimeters, Paralympians, uh, paratroopers. Uh, I said that, didn't I already? I think. You did, yeah, so, yeah. But just change them. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, With the new uh, Strymon uh, Imodium. Guaranteed. Great guitar tone and never <laughs> yourself ever again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure how much of what Lee just said is going to make it through to YouTube. So suffice it to say that I'm Rob Chapman. And I've been the captain. See you later. Au revoir. Anyway, look. <laughs>